What's good, y'all? your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we got to talk about what's been going on with Paul Heyman. First and foremost, Paul Heyman has been selling this new dangerous bloodline ever since WrestleMania uh, has ended and Roman Reigns has taken his hiatus. He has been selling this new dangerous bloodline as something to legitimately be scared and worried about especially with how solo has been acting and how he's been moving and pretty much coining himself as the new tribal chief which i do think a lot of us believe that the rock is behind all of this but the fact that roman has this not roman paul Heyman has this new fear within the group that we haven't really seen since maybe certain instances where roman would get mad he would be upset and paul would kind of cower or paul would kind of have some fear or or if y'all remember the angle they were going well the storyline they were going with with is paul Heyman really behind roman reigns is he is is he it really in roman reigns corner when it came to brock lesnar being in the picture that's like the last time you really seen him like scared and now he's it seems as if every time you see him he's terrified y'all see the image behind me uh that was just them on the opening segment and solo wanted uh paul Heyman to pretty much say thank you to tama tonga and tonga loa uh for saving him from last week from uh kevin owens uh pretty much he was he was about to pack up paul Heyman. um so he wanted them he wanted paul to apologize well no to say thank you to them and you can tell he's 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 scared and i, I love paul Heyman. he's really good at the facials and really good at acting if you want to be honest because he has been selling this and making this look even that more intense because you don't normally see him be like this involved in the bloodline you know and i love what they're doing here they are actually making us feel sorry for paul hey man i want you to understand those words being uttered they are actually making us feel like we should be sorry, sympathetic to Paul Heyman, the guy that you don't really trust or you shouldn't trust. He is a sympathetic character in this whole story and it's fantastic. And like I said, he's very good at acting. He's very good at selling something to you. He's very good at uh, facial expressions and emoting how he wants you to feel like I've never seen that before. Like, in a sense of for Paul Heyman to be the sympathetic character. It's great. This is good. I love what they're doing here. I honestly do believe that we have something great with this storyline character. Well, with, with where the, sto the, the storyline is going forward with the bloodline and how Paul Heyman essentially is the one that's, he's the connection to Roman. Like now y'all see every single week now it's become we want Roman and Solo's getting some really good booze. You know, you're, you're starting to see signs like Solo's not my tribal chief and Paul is the one like listening to the people and like, I miss him too. I, I wish he was back too. Like this is good. And it's so funny to see Paul Heyman in the situation. Like it, it literally is one of those type of things. Blink twice if you if you need help, Paul. And he's probably gonna blink a hundred times because he definitely needs help. And I, I think they're doing a really good job at having Paul Heyman, out of all people in this new bloodline that they've created, be the most sympathetic and the most, I guess you can say, relatable because we know how the bloodline was now it's gotten starting to get out of control and we want the old bloodline like if you guys remember sammy was the the relatable uh character in the you know og bloodline story he was the relatable character he was the one that the fans wanted you know you want you wanted them to finally accept him even though it was a heel faction you wanted the bloodline to accept him and now it's a situation where you want Paul Heyman to, re, you know, reunite with Roman. You want Paul Heyman 
to kind of be, you know, freed from what they got going on. Because essentially, at this point, Paul Heyman is being held hostage in his in his own group, I guess you can say. He's literally being held hostage. Um, there was a noticeable segment uh, where uh, Solo said, I want you to talk to Nick Aldis to get us to have a three-on-three -three match against uh, Kevin Owens and the Street Profits. If you can't manage that, if you can't get that done or fix this, we're going to go ahead and you're going to have a one-on-one -on -one match. Uh, I don't know if it was with Tonga Loa or Tama Tonga, one of them. He said, you're going to have a one-on-one -on -one match with them in the locker room. And we've never seen that in a sense of Roman never threatened physical harm that not that I can remember to Paul. So the fact that now Solo's threatening him like, yo, get this done or we're going to hurt you. Now we're we're in that we're starting to get into a new phase where honestly, it's, it's just going to it's going to get worse before it gets better. And I'm loving this. And Paul Hammond, once again, he's the best person to portray, like, despair, uh, uncertainty, fear. And it's an interesting dynamic to see this now from him and him being the sympathetic character in this new bloodline. So I love what Paul Heyman's doing every week. It's literally just watch Paul Heyman and see his facial expressions. Like at the end of the show, I was trying to find a picture to have behind me. But at the end of the show, all the bloodline members, new ones are putting up the one, right? Everybody's putting up the one. And I, I want to say it in... I don't know if it was, I'm not sure. I think it was uh, Tamatanga. I think it was Tamatanga who looked over at him because Paul, he just had his hands over his mouth. Like after Kevin Owens had got powerbombed through the announce table, he had his hands over his mouth, like just, you know, in fear and, 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 and scared. And I believe it was Tamatanga uh, looked over at him. He looked over at him and then. He finally put up the one. Paul Heyman, he shakily put up the one. Like, he was afraid to. Like, it was essentially, he was forced to put up the one because he looked at him, like, put up the fucking one. And he, he, he it's like he didn't want to. When have you ever seen Paul Heyman not want to put up the ones? That's what makes this so good. Just the little stuff like that. If y'all pay attention, if y'all know what I'm talking about from last night's episode of SmackDown, y'all let me know because I noticed that. And I thought that was a nice touch of one of the members looking at him in a threatening way. Why you not? Why you don't have the ones up? And he finally puts up the ones. In a scared fashion. I love that. That's the attention to detail. They're doing great. I'm I just just know when Roman comes back, oh, it's going to be, oh, this, oh, this is going to be good. Solo's facial expressions is going to, going to be fantastic. I'm sure he's going to have that naughty face. He's going to be surprised. Paul Heyman is going to be overjoyed with excitement to have him back. He's probably going to be on his knees begging, you know, you know, how Paul Heyman, he loves him some Roman, sometimes a little bit too much. So, but it's, it's just going to be a great thing to see. And it's going to even be better when we find out that it, it's a good chance that The Rock was behind this the entire time. So I, I, I can't wait. Uh, this, su this summer is heating up. It's going to be something special. And once again, I just wanted to make this quick video to really, really show some appreciation for Paul Heyman's acting work that he's been doing these past uh, few months with this whole new bloodline. And, uh, you know, definitely want to just pinpoint his not his dissension but his fear he has being in a group that he once was not feared to be in I mean, he felt comfortable being in the bloodline but now paul Heyman is the sympathetic sympathetic character that does not feel comfortable anymore and i love what they're doing with his character looking forward to seeing how things will play out comment down below let me know if you guys are enjoying what paul Heyman has been doing in this new bloodline because i think it's fantastic work he's he's literally just begging and pleading to get roman back <laughs> so this should be very good leading up into the later summer months but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm still young speed the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace